I'm going to do a quick, quick lesson in C programming for my friends at IBM Training Center. Now, to get started in C programming, I need to explain the type of language it is. Now, C is a compiler language, meaning that it takes the whole source code, compiles it, and converts it into an executable file, which then the machine, you know, can understand straight away. Okay? Uh, the, the other languages that I'll be training you on is PHP and so on. Now these are interpreter languages, meaning that they compile line by line, they execute line by line. Now if you want to make a change, you can change a, a particular line and it, it won't, you don't need to compile the whole program again, you just put it up, upload it and then it will start to work straight away. Uh, but in C, you need to compile the whole source code again. Now if there's an error in any of the lines, nothing it won't compile it won't actually run at all but if there's an error in an interpreter program it would compile all the lines that are correct and it would stop at a point where it you know the, the, the particular line has an error or whatever and it won't actually function it will say well, can't, can't connect to a database or whatever so we're just going to look at very quickly on writing the very first C program now C program always starts with the include file first. Okay? We need to tell it to you know how to function, how to take an input, how to treat an input and output and so on. So we'll include a header file or a library file. Now to do an include in C, you do the the, the pound sign or the hash. Um, and then you do the the great the greater than and less than and then you put the file name stdio.h now h means um, a header file effectively just correct the table hope you can see that clearly okay so we put here hash include less than and then stdio.h and then greater than and that would basically refer to the input output function which tells uh, the program how to uh, treat input and output devices. There's other libraries and they have different functions but for now we're just going to do a, a basic program called hello world which is a, the, the world over uh, standard in programming. So we've now included this file we now use the main function so we put main and then brackets and because that's a function we don't have to put a semicolon like you've seen in the PHP programming um, so now we've done the main we need to open it up so we open it with this curly brace okay now we're gonna print the words hello world in, in, on the screen when the file executes so we just put printf We're going to open up the bracket, quotation marks, and we'll put hello world. Okay? Now, we w what we want to do after it finishes, uh, quote, you know, printing hello world, we want it to start a new line. So we do that as backslash n, and that stands for new line. Okay? And then we we'll close the quotation marks, we'll close the bracket. And then, as you already know, if you're familiar in programming, we use the semicolon at the end. But if you don't, this is how to do the first command here. So this is printf, hello world, start a new line, and we end it. And then we just close it with a curly bracket, and that is all the program. That's the first program that we'll do, and that's it. Now, if you're familiar in PHP and so on, I've, you always start a script with the less than and then a question mark okay in ASP it will be qu uh, less than and percent sign okay and then you obviously would end close the, the script with like that and you would close that one here percent like that greater than so this is the a this is PHP this is how you start a PHP script this is ASP and in in C you don't need to do anything at all you just start start the script with include and uh, that's it basically so now you tell the program how to input an output and here we, we've got an output um, command so we're, we're printing to the screen so that's why we've used this 
here. And in later lessons we'll look at the other libraries and so on. But for now this is the first uh, program that you'll try out and then we'll look at uh, variables as well. Okay, so moving on to variables, just to include it in, in this lesson. In fact, if I just move the camera slightly down, we could probably get the variables in here. Now, a variable, uh, for those that don't know, it, it's, it's basically like a box, okay, it's a container. We're going to place in that container a value. So we're going to tell, in C, we need to actually explain to the, the program what kind of product or or um, type of, of things that we're going to place in that box so we're going to put numbers or we're going to put words or we're going to put um, float you know like a uh, like digital number like you know like a uh, let's say for example currency nine pounds ninety nine it's going to be a floating point decimal point in it or it's going to be a whole number okay and whether it's going to be a, a, an, an address you know and you know the type of of um, value is going to be in the box so if we think of a variable as a box okay so what we want to put in that box is, is like for example characters a character a b c so this is going to be a character so this is how you put a character c h a r okay now we're going to do a program but instead of actually printing hello world here we're going to get it to print the content of that box we'll start the same way as include okay less than stdio stdio is, is very common and the dot h stands for header and I've explained that already okay so now we've done that we're now gonna define the, the variable that we're gonna have we're gonna put here char and we're going to say um, characters or something like that. Okay, so we we'll call it char characters, and we can d we can actually insert a value in in that character now if we wanted to, or let's make it more interesting. Let's make the size of it because now we need to allocate a certain amount of memory uh, to use for this particular um, variable. So we're going to put in there 10. So it's going to be a size 10. And we're going to write inside it hello world. I'm just going to put it all as 1. And then we we'll close it with a semicolon at the end. So now what we've done, we've inserted hello world inside the variable called characters, which is a size 10. It has a size 10. Now we've done that, we're going to start the, the script again by saying main, using the main function. Now for a C program to work, it has to have main somewhere in, in the program. It doesn't matter where it is, but it has to be somewhere in the program. Otherwise, it won't um, execute at all. So we're going to put s curly brackets again. We're going to put printf. and this time we're not going to put the quotation marks we've used up here because this is a variable we're just going to write it straight away characters okay and then we'll close the bracket and then the se uh, semicolon at the end here and then the curly brackets at the end okay so you probably can't see that so let me just move the camera slide okay so that's that program here that program what we've done is we'll put a value inside characters the box or the variable called character and then we've printed it, the content out okay so these are just the two very very basic uh, scripts or, or programs we've just uh, we've just done here very quickly and they explained the, the basic syntax of C programming okay in the next lesson we're gonna go on the computer and we're gonna type these codes up 